Hi guys. Hello. It is a Monday and it's a beautiful day out. I don't know if you can see, but look how gorgeous that is. Sorry, that's the planes that are like flying over right now. Um, but I thought I, it's getting louder and louder and louder. I'm just gonna wait for it to pass. Today is a special day. We're going to be picking up our newest addition to the house. It's gonna be a little kitten. He's a, if I'm being honest with you, I don't even know if he's a boy or a girl yet. We're gonna figure that out once we bring him or her back home. We are on the way to go and get Doji. Doji. Louis just got into a random lift and like didn't want to come with me. <laughs> Can I ma'am? No. Okay. You gotta make sure he doesn't run away. No, there's too much, Papa. Deco's either pooping or trying to poop or just really wants to come into this room. He's outside here, look. He wants to come in, look. His fur right now looks oh crazy, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Morning, it is Tuesday. Day two now. Doji's had a good first night, I would say, right? <clears throat> we didn't yeah. wake up. I feel like Deco gave us a bit more problems than Doji did because Deco was meowing a lot was kind of restless, running around everywhere. Doji, I feel like, is like an angel in comparison to Deco, yeah, right? Definitely. Like she's like, like Doji's the best in class. Just, but she just smells. Yeah, she smells a little bit weird. I don't oh. know if it's kitty oh. smell or, or what it is. Her ears are a little bit um, dirty. So I need to go to the store and get ear cleaner. But for now, she's just kind of exploring. She's very quiet, kind of does her own thing. She cries when no one's here though. She does, she cries, and it's not like when Deco used to cry. No, it's, it's Her like, cries it's sound a bit like, yeah, sounds a bit like chirping almost. Look at this tail. Look at the nails though. Oh my gosh. We need gosh. to chop them backwards. Yeah, we need to trim the nails. The nails are very sharp and very long. Look at you. Look how cute you are. Oh, she's gone. Oh, you okay? So the story with Doji is we were told that Doji was a boy. Yesterday, when we were looking at Doji, I was pretty sure that Doji's a girl. But at this point, until Doji's checked by a vet, we don't really know. We're gonna leave Doji to get accustomed to this room and the smell and because obviously Louis and I have Deco and Difa smell on us every time we come inside. So hopefully Doji gets used to that. And then after a week, we'll start introducing Doji and Deco because Deco is the other cat in the house. And I read that it's actually harder for cats to get along. So we'll do that first. And Difa's easy. Difa likes anyone and anything. So I think she'll get along with um, Doji pretty easy. Gonna leave Doji in the room for a little bit. Let's go see what the other animals are up to. Oh my gosh. I would turn the camera, but then you'll see, you'll see Louie on the toilet. <laughs> Hello, my darling. So, Difa's in a cone because she keeps having this eye irritation. I think it's where we live. Um, there's a lot of construction going on, so there's a lot of dirt and micro dust. Dust. And so I think it's gotten her eye again. It's always the same eye, same irritation. And it's always after we take her out for a walk. Hi, Deco. Hello. You're vocal. You've always been very vocal, haven't you? You wanna come here and sit with mommy? No? While he's asleep, I'm taking the chance to trim his paws and to cut his nails this is what his foot looked like before just all tufts of fur and this is what i did i'm 
one more paw to go. I'm really proud. I mean, I didn't even like YouTube it. I didn't Google anything. I was just like, you know what? Her paws are looking crazy. Let's fix that. And so I did. I mean, look at how nice this is. Come on. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. I think I'm gonna keep grooming her. Let me go. Oh, horrible. As you can see, I'm great at this vlogging thing. I took Bifa for a walk, which is why I look like a freaking mess, like all sweaty and shit. Look at my face. That's not highlighter, that's sweat. So all of this week I've been baking and just trying out different flavors and stuff. Become a little bit obsessed, I think. But look how pretty those are. Ooh, almost done. It's almost done, Lulu. Difa, it's almost done. We've got dark chocolate and milk chocolate with sea salt there. These are sugar cookies with sugar sprinkles. And these are filled with Nutella and peanut butter, and it's got a Lotus um, Biscoff topping. Just finished baking, let's go see what Doji's up to. Hi, baby. You're playful, but she's super gentle. Well, I remember when we brought Deco home, Deco was a freaking maniac. This one is super brave. She just wants to go and like explore stuff. Like right now she's attacking me, but it's so soft. She's not even using her nails. Deco used to use his nails quite a bit. Oh, uh, I don't remember Deco being this small. Do you? No, he was. Was I, I, I have to get pictures up to take a look. I don't remember at all. We have to take pictures of her now and then every month after. Because we didn't do that with Deco and he's already huge. I think she's going to get big quite fast. You love to attack this camera. Yep, yeah, that's you. Hello. Hello. Just about to go out to get ear cleaner. Please, and all of our Amazon things. Well. Oh, thank it's you. Tiny. Oh, yay! Difa's new lead and harness. Oh, it's got like a poo bag carrier on it. Cool, yeah, it was supposed to be pink though, the, the carrier. Is it? Oh my gosh, Difi. Look at your harness. <laughs> We're going to put a harness on you. This is the back and this is the bottom, right? Like that. Slide it in like that. Where, well, where's the clips to like? They're both, they're clips both sides, but I think this tag is on the top, no? Okay, yeah, try. Yeah? So you can double clip her, and then I just clip this onto this one here. Or we can just go straight with this one. How cute! Diva, look, you have a harness now. Maybe now you won't pull so much. I'm going out with the girls tonight, and I thought I'd put on, you know, a little bit of effort. So this is my fit for today. I put some makeup on. I'll do my lipstick later. But I can never be fussed to do my hair. I never know what to do with my hair. So I thought, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to throw a hat on. Um, and it kind of works with the fit, you know? Can you see? Uh, there we go. Hi, guys! <laughs> oh, love it. <laughs> so Roz brought us here oh with Sonia. And we're trying this crab. Roz, you're in the photo. <laughs> Look at how massive this is. Okay, Look at all that. Wow. Whoa. This is the crab tomelli. Okay, now, give me a bowl. Okay, here. Oh, it smells unbelievable. Slight right. Roz is practicing, so I'm not going to interrupt her. But she's doing really well. High five. Oh, look at how big your paws are. You're going to be huge. You're going to be a big girl. It is Thursday. I'm chilling on the sofa with Deco. I didn't really have time to film today because we've had kind of a crazy day. It's about 8 p.m. Louis and I just had our dinner and that was actually the first meal of the day. So Difa and Doji, I can tell they're gonna be fast friends. Uh, we introduced the two of them at a distance, no contact at all. And Doji was very reciprocative to Difa, so that's good. This one though, this one is the troublemaker. This one is the naughty boy. Even, and I'm talking about, they were at a distance from each other. He could just see her, but couldn't be anywhere near enough to smell her or anything like that. But already he was like heckles up, hissing, making this weird growling noise, which he used to do with Difa when we first started introducing them together. So I think, you know, him and Doji, 
they're gonna take some time. You ever get this thing where when you see something cute, you wanna like clench your tooth down and like bite down like that? So ever since I've got animals of my own, oh, I feel like I clench my jaw so much now that I've had to get retainers and like, you know, teeth guards in because it's made like my teeth grinding five times worse. So every time I see him and he's so cute, I wanna bite down like that and it hurts my teeth. Last night, I didn't wear my retainers to sleep and I woke up in the morning with like major jaw ache and I felt like my teeth were moving around, which I know is all in my head, but like, you know, cause your teeth don't just move around like that. It's just a really horrible habit that I have when I see something super cute. I just wanna bite down. And I feel like I'm the only one that has that. I don't know anybody that does. She's a big baby, oh my gosh. She's asleep. Oh, now she's awake. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no wow. cameras. No cameras. No paparazzi. Last night, we brought Doji into the bedroom for the first time to come sleep with us. It was great. She fell asleep on Louis' chest, knocked out like that instantly. I think we got a couple hours in sleeping like that. And Louis was like, I feel like I'm going to squish her so he was like can you put her back in the in the office and i was like okay cool woke up i think it must have been about four or five put her back in here into this room this morning we woke up and found out that in singapore covid restrictions are pretty much going back to how it was when we were in lockdown last year so initially it was eight people that could hang out this was just a couple weeks ago. And then there was an announcement that said only five people could start hanging out with each other. And then this morning, they're cutting the numbers down to two people in groups. No more dine-ins, so all food places are closed, only open for takeaway. No more things like weddings and stuff like that. The gym's already closed. It pretty much is another lockdown. I feel like I'm, I, I guess part of me is ready for it because we've already gone through this before. It just sucks. We were gonna have this really awesome Michelin star experience and that was gonna be happening next week. So now obviously that's not gonna happen anymore. This is what's gonna be happening for the next month. I mean, we've got the animals, so you know, we're always gonna be entertained. We'll see how it goes. Lou and I were just sitting here doing some work and we didn't even realize that these two are just sat next to each other. You're just chilling. Little ladies having a girl hangout. Oh my gosh, how cute is this?